significance. So to wrap up very quickly, health effects of IP may be effective in species other than humans. The findings suggest that IP-induced health of it benefits may actually be independent of any psychologic, cognitive, or social factors of the prayer recipients. And though the study provides no insight into whether intercessory prayer's influence occurs via naturalistic or supernatural pathways, the results suggest that IP works ultimately through naturalistic pathways in order to affect improvement. Thank you. Categories of what, sir? I'm sorry. Categories of grooming. You have causes. Oh, the causes. It would be all over grooming in these animals. So that the cause was just spending. Absolutely, it was self inflicted wounds. Yes. Sure. It was four weeks, and it was coincident with tri they received tryptophan for four weeks, prayer for four weeks. Start, yes, started and stopped on the same day. I think this gentleman. John. Uh, one of the uh, criticisms of the step analysis was that the prayers that were given were written on a piece of paper and was not naturally the way people pray. Did you uh, have anything to, uh, about that criticism to make, it, make your study better? Well, I'm, this is my own bias. I think that people who are engaged in prayer practice uh, find their own way to be able to pray. So I offer direction, if I'm answering your question correctly, but didn't monitor. I left the intercessors to their own devices because these were seasoned, these were prayer warriors, we could think of. These were seasoned individuals, and so I trusted them to their own devices. All of them. All of them. All 22 had wounds. So they all were suffering from self injurious behavior. That's why we treated them all. Yes, but all of these belong to that subgroup of captive primates because it was a much larger lab and not all the animals were affected. Yes. That is a wonderful question, and part of it, and this is again is my own bias, you know, as scientists we sort of speculate on part of what may be going on. I wanted to go into this with the strongest IV I could, and I wonder about a dose response effect, um, although I believe that one good prayer can affect change. That's why I wanted a number of intercessors. I had one group of intercessors that structured their intercession so they're praying 24-7, literally around the clock. So these animals were immersed in prayer throughout the 28 days. That's a great question, but nobody to my knowledge has asked that. I didn't get the question. Oh, it was about um, numbers of intercessors and, yes. The question I really had was, yeah. No, some animals would actually have two. That was one of the considerations for what may have moved them into the more severe category. And so we measured each individual wound. If there was more than one wound, then we totaled the wound area for the animal. Um, very, very complete study, but I wondered why you didn't uh, create wounds so you could have identical wounds and not have this. That really would run against not only my own ethical, although I had originally thought about some infectious uh, process, um, but trying to recruit intercessors to pray, there really are certain parameters, and if the wounds were inflicted, I would not have gotten intercessors to pray. People came on board because they saw this was a legitimate condition, we were treating all the animals, and so they agreed to participate. And the magnitude of effects is quite large, mm -hmm. and it sounds to me like the procedures that you've been using, you said 24-7. Yeah. So you've structured something, if I understand correctly, from a dose point of view, at least in terms of continuity of time, it's not 15 minutes per day. Right. Um, are there any other factors that you think might help explain why the magnitude of effects appear to be larger in your particular study? 
Um, I think in part because my own take, and I actually work with humans um, as a, a clinical health psychologist, I'm not a primatologist, and I suspect in my gut that the fact that we are human and our psychological and cognitive factors actually impede our ability to take advantage of whatever this ambient goody may be out there, and the animals don't. They're just... So that, that, that's part of what I suspect. So I think it's, it's practice effects on the part of the intercessors. Dose may play a, play a role, um, and the fact that they're not impeded by our... Uh, unfortunately, no more time for questions. Great. Well, thank, thank you, you very much. Fascinating. Thank you.